In this short tips and tricks video we're going to look at how we can model a basic frame shape using the two rail sweep. So let's go into Aspire. Now the first thing that I need to do is draw a vector that represents the outside of my frame. So I'm just going to use the draw a rectangle option, put in a width of 5 inches by 4 inches, press create and there's the outside of my frame. Now I need to create a vector that represents the inside of that frame shape. To do that I'm just simply going to take that vector, go into offset, and offset that inwards by half an inch, create sharp offset corners, offset that and then we have my outer and inner vectors that represent my frame shape. So now that we do have our two rails we need to draw a cross section that's going to represent the profile shape that's going to run between the two vector rails. Now it needs to be an open shape so that we can attach each side of the profile to a rail. So the trick to drawing cross sections is to simply visualise your finished part and if we had our frame here and we cut that down the middle and then we turn that on its side what does the side profile look like? What is the shape that we have there? Once you know that, then you know what sort of shape to draw. Now I'd like to create a stepped shape profile between the two rails. So what I usually do when drawing cross sections is I usually start off with a rectangle. I find this is a very helpful shape to create my cross section. So let's just close that down. At the moment we've got a closed shape. Now in order for this to work we need an open shape. So I'm going to go into node edit mode, I'm going to delete that bottom span there and you can see that we have an open shape. Okay, We've got it goes up, across and down. We have nothing in the middle. And the idea of this is that we're going to attach this what we'll call a leg in this instance. We're going to attach one leg to one rail, the other leg to the other rail and then that rectangular shape would simply flow between the two vector rails to create a frame. Now, as I said, I'd like to create a stepped shape. So I'm just going to take this node here and just D to delete that. And I'm going to right mouse click on the span and use the option here to insert a midpoint. Now, if we just zoom in, I'm going to right click on the span here and say to Bezier, and I'm simply just going to take the control handle and just sort of align them with their uh, counteracting node. And then here, we're going to press B on this span here, so that's the shortcut key to get into Bezier. And again, I'm just going to align those. So you can see that I've got this stepped shape. And the idea here is we're going to attach one leg to one rail and the other leg to the other. That's why it's quite handy to use the draw rectangle option when drawing cross sections. As we can simply just eliminate the bottom span and we already have our legs in place. And all we need to do is just edit the shape to create that profile. So now that we've got our two rails and our cross section, we can now go and create the two rail sweep. So let's go and tile our windows. We're going to go into the modeling tab, and this is the icon for the two rail sweep. So now we need to select our rails. I'm going to select this vector here, shift and select this vector here, say so use selection, and now they are now drive rails. Okay, the red one is the one that's selected first, green is second. You can see that I have these arrows, they're both pointing in the same direction. That's telling me that the uh, cross section that we'll go to select will run in the same direction between each one of those rails, so that's OK. I have a start point here and I have a start point here. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that these start points run parallel with each other so that when this uh, profile travels across the rails, they're both starting at the same point. So to change the start point of this inner rectangle, I'm just going to right mouse click and say make start point. Then I can select my cross section and simply go ahead and press apply. So you can see that that's applied that cross section to between those two rails. So we've got some odd corners uh, around our model here and that's because this cross section where it's connecting between one rail and another is essentially being stretched along those two rails. Now where the one rail is shorter than the other means that this one's going to travel a lot faster. So one side of our profile is going to reach this area before this one reaches that corner and that's how we, they get out of sync. In order for us to change that we just simply click on the rail, right click, say add to all rail nodes and apply that and we can see that that has now created nice crisp sharp corners that are now in sync with each other. And so that completes this short tutorial on how to model a frame using the two rail sweep. 
Thank you for watching.